How you doing guys, it's Ricky from Average Eskate Reviews and in this one I'm going to be talking about five things every Meepo Hurricane owner should know about their board. Now number one is as soon as you get that board, get those bushings off of it immediately. It is um, so unstable riding with these bushings. They're made of some sort of like really plasticky sort of rubbery type material. I can only assume that they're the cheapest bushings that you could physically get for the board. I've just upgraded my bushings on my board. I'm using the Riptide bushings, absolutely amazing. So get yourself a pair of Riptide bushings. As soon as I took these bushings out and I used a pair of bushings from another board, but these are still rubbish bushings, instantly the board felt way more stable at higher speeds, could turn and maneuver a lot better. And overall the board just felt a million times better just from changing the bushings from really bad to bad bushings. So changing that board's bushings out to, you know, something like Riptide um, bushings and pivot cups as well, you're gonna feel an absolute phenomenal difference with this board. So the number two thing you should be doing with your board or should know about the board is the fact that if you've planned on buying this board and you want to upgrade further down the line, i.e. the battery, that's not gonna be a possibility. The battery that's inside this board is a 12S4P using the P428 Molly cells, and that is the biggest battery that's physically able to go inside this enclosure. Now you can obviously from third party manufacturers buy sort of these boxes now that go on top of the board and get plugged in if that's something that you're into. But unfortunately, the battery size that's in this board is already at max capacity. The number three thing you should know about this board is every bolt pretty much on this board is a different size. We've got M3, M4, and M5 bolt sizes. The ones that you use to undo the enclosure lid, they're M3, and there's about 18 or 20 of those to undo with that size. The bash guards are M5, and the truck mounts are M4. So there's three different size Allen keys that you're gonna to have to purchase in order to keep up with maintenance on this board or if you need to change out a motor, take the bash guard off, etc., etc. That's three different Allen keys. So if Meepo going forward, maybe use the same size bolt for everything, it would make life so much easier. So the fourth thing you should know about the Meepo Hurricane is although you're at max capacity with the battery, you are able to fit a VESC based controller inside this board, which is not only gonna unleash the power of the battery that's already in there, but it is gonna turn this board into an absolute beast. You've got those big 6374 motors on the back there. They're not even using anywhere near the capacity that they could use from this battery, but with a VESC in there, you, it's a whole different ball game. So if you have got one further down the line, definitely consider installing a VESC into this board. It will completely change the board and make it feel amazing. And for anybody out there that doesn't know what a VESC is, it's a motor controller that's basically open source so you can program it and change settings in it to be able to customize the board the way you want it. If you want more off the line performance, you can just change a couple of numbers and it'll be way faster off the line. If you want stronger braking, you can do that as well. And also you can mess about with your remote curve, how sensitive it is. There's a million and one things that you can do with a VESC based controller. So if you have got one, and you've had it for a while now and it's just not powerful enough anymore, consider upgrading it and putting a VESC in it. Now putting a VESC in it will mean that you'll have to get a different remote for the board, but apart from that, everything else will be stock. You'll be able to use the same battery, connect the original motors back up to the new VESC based controller and you'll be good to go. And number five, the last point on this is gonna be the motor size. Now this is gonna be something that could be very subjective, but my personal experience from using various different boards of motor sizes is that the 6374 motors on this board are way too overkill. They're big, they're bulky, they're heavy, and they're not that powerful. So it sort of doesn't really make sense to have a board with that size motors. I know why it's been done. It makes it look more powerful, it makes, you feel like it's a premium, more expensive board because of the bigger size motors. But in reality, the size of motors doesn't really matter whatsoever. You could get a smaller motor that's twice as powerful as both of those motors put together. So I think you don't really need that bigger motors on there and it just adds additional weight to the board. That's just something to bear in mind. And so with those motors being a ridiculous side, it doesn't really give you any benefits whatsoever. And it's just something that I thought I would mention and let you guys know about it. So overall summary, I think the Meepo Hurricane is a great, great board, especially for the price. I do think it needs a few little tweaks here and there just to make it the perfect board. 
But again, at that price point, you can't really complain. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.